We're here in Oakland, California at Timeless, an all vegan coffee roaster, bakery, and chocolatier. All right, well, this would obviously be the entry. If you walk in, this is uh, actually a special machine. Keys van der Wessen makes it. I started working in coffee in 98 and found like a love for coffee. That was like when I first started drinking coffee and was like very, very into it from the beginning. It was like a favorite job I'd ever had. I worked for Pete's. I realized that was like a passion that I had and that I wanted to start my own business. I felt like I had to get a lot of knowledge in more than just what I had as a barista. Luckily, I went into psych class before they opened when they were still in a construction phase and told them my goal, I wanted to open up a coffee shop and learn as much as I possibly could. And in turn, they would get a lot of work out of me. I worked for them for roughly three to three and a half years before I was able to open this place. While I was trying to figure out how I was gonna open up a coffee shop and in the back of my head, I was like, how am I gonna do this all vegan when I don't have any baking background? I had met Violet because she was my wife's sparring partner for kickboxing. I make everything, I make the filling and I make all the chocolates by hand. We have salted caramel truffles and raspberry truffles and those are all hand rolled and um, make the filling super fresh. I started baking with my grandpa when I was little. He had a sweet tooth and that was our, our thing we did to spend time together. I basically couldn't afford to go to culinary school and I really wanted to. I just treated all my jobs as school and tried to find the hardest working person in the kitchen and learn everything from them. When I really, really discovered how talented she was, I was like, oh, well, this is what it was meant to happen. Like, this is the business, the baking has to happen. I just have to ring her in. Like, and I was just trying to like, really get her to be like, hey, this is what we're gonna do. You're on board, right? Like, this is how it's gonna happen. I didn't even have a location when I quit my job. When I said I was putting my time in, I just was like, all right, I have to do this. We were able to round up enough money to open the door. RJ talked about it for a long time, and I always knew that anything he did would be completely vegan. It just seemed to make sense because the way we've lived our lives for so long, we just wanted to create the ideal place that we would want to go to. So we knew that if we did that, then people would show up. There wasn't ever a question that it was going to be a vegan coffee shop, and it was a challenge that seemed like it was the right challenge. It's been great to see a lot of neighborhood people that didn't know that we were vegan and then have like really turned around and been super open to the idea. It's been a really, really like awesome to see how it's worked and it's a new model that I want to try and create and hopefully people copy us. Like I want it to be copied. I want to like go to another city and be like, oh, we saw you guys did something really well and we decided we, we can do it. It's a business that can be successful.